One week from today, spring elections will be held throughout the state. A number of significant local races are on the ballot, and there's one election that all Wisconsinites will be able to vote on, and that's who serves on the state Supreme Court. Incumbent Justice David Prosser is running against Assistant State Attorney General Joanne Kloppenberg. Both of them described why they believe they're fit to serve to Fox 11's Becky DeVries as you decide 2011. Seven justices make up the Supreme Court of Wisconsin. The court itself determines what cases it will hear, and those cases may be on any variety of topics. I love the work, and I think I've proven that I can do the job. Incumbent Justice David Prosser is hoping to win the next 10-year term, as is Joanne Kloppenberg, who brings her own legal experience with the Department of Justice. I'm running because people urged me to run. They had a sense that people have lost confidence in the independence and impartiality of the court. Both Kloppenberg and Prosser say qualifications are key in the race. Prosser points to his 12 and a half years on the bench, saying he has made hundreds of decisions as a justice and thousands of decisions as a state legislator that are all part of a record voters can review. And I think people would find that Dave Prosser is a pretty moderate, reasonable, common sense person. And when he takes a position, that position can be defended rationally and clearly without partisanship, without uh, uh, extraneous matters. Kloppenberg says she is a better choice because of her background and qualifications. She interned with now Chief Justice Shirley Abrahamson, was a law clerk for federal judge Barbara Crabb, and since 1989 has been a prosecutor and litigator with the Department of Justice. I have been in the trenches for 22 years trying cases in circuit courts around the state arguing many times in the Court of Appeals and the Supreme Court. I have first-hand experience in how Wisconsin Supreme Court decisions have to be understood and applied and followed and used by lower court judges, attorneys, and their clients. I asked both about their legal philosophy. My philosophy is that everyone deserves a fair day in court. And it starts with judicial elections that are, are free of special interest expenditures as much as possible. I'm a ju judicial conservative. Now, I want to distinguish that from being a political conservative because I might not reach some decisions that political conservatives would like. Tuesday, voters will decide whose philosophy and experience they'd like to see on the state's high court. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Fox 7 also asked both candidates about their thoughts on the new state law implementing Governor Walker's plans to balance the state budget. As we reported last week, neither candidate offered an opinion saying they had not read all of the briefs relating to the new law.